Hello, welcome back to Florence Field. And in today's video, we are going to be creating a dance project. Yeah, we're going to be creating a dance project. Uh, it's going to be fun and uh, I can't wait to start. Okay, so let's get started. Yeah, we're going to be creating a dance project. So now the first thing you need to do is to click on the code of org link in the description below or you type code of the org. After you've done that, the next thing would be what? So click on the sign in button. All right, that's the next thing for you to do. Um, in case you find this a bit challenging, you can actually click on the link above to watch the previous video, to watch the video about signing in to code.org before you continue, all right? So now after you click on sign in, you're going to select continue with Google. All right, so click on continue with Google. So log you in and then you're going to select any of your Gmail accounts. For now, I'm going to be selecting this. That's my Gmail account. So when you select your Gmail account, mind you, this is not what you're going to see right here. This is a teacher's view. But for the student's view, you're going to see, you're going to be asked to fill in your information. So you're going to fill in your age and then your account type. Your account type is student. So you select student and then you click on go on to my account, okay? All right, so after you've done that, it will take you directly to your dashboard. Now, this is where we are going to create our dance project. Are you ready? All right, now let's get started. So when you get to the dashboard, you scroll down to my projects, project right there, and then you click on what? View full list, because apparently we do not have anything like dance parts right there. We only have Sprite Lab, artist app lab and then game lab so when you click on click full list you'll see a lot of them but right now we want to focus on what dance party so let's click on dance party and then let's get started the phone is about to begin all right this is the environment and um i will be explaining how the environment looks like now this area is the play area as the first thing you need to know this is the play area this is the area where the sprites will actually execute all of your code. All right, so this is the play area. Please let's take note of that. Now, this area is called what the code area. This is where you write the code. This is where you give instructions to the sprites so that they can actually show those dance move and all. You okay? And now the next one is what the block area. Now this contains modules of block codes that will actually give our sprite instructions so for example we have world so on that world we have a lot of block codes right here you understand we have functions we have dancers we have properties we have now this provides the codes that we want to use you understand so now let's continue now the first thing i needed to do after opening up this dance party project is to save our work so now let's save it as what dance project that's what i want to use Dance project, dance project by. You can even add your name. So I'll put what Flourish Field, and then you click on save. Now, whatever you do right there would automatically save be saved into this dance project. So now, the first, the second thing I needed to know is uh, okay, we can select the type of song that we want. All right. So in this case, I'm going to be selecting one cool song. I will have a lot of songs right here, uh, but I'll be selecting, wow, it's Jerusalem, so I'll select Jerusalem. So now what this means is that when I click on run, <laughs> but now we've not, we, we can't do the most dancer because we have not actually given any code. So now how do we create our dancer? So that's the next thing, right? So how do we create our dancer? To create your dancer, you click on what? Dancers. Now I need you to take note of these two red block of code. It says what? Make cards. And then let's click on the second one. It says what? Makes this card. So whenever you want to create anything, you use the make block. Can I say make? Yeah, make block. So now just drag it inside the setup because we're setting up a platform. So you see what? Make. Now what do we want to use? Do we want to use alien? I'm going to select um let me just pick something cool let me let me use this 
Now, and I need it to be at the center. You understand? So now when I run this code now, our sprites or would as our slot will appear in the center. Now let's run and see. That's what we're doing for now. So at the same time, we want to create, you know, when we have uh, a dancer, a lead dancer, we also have a backup dancer. So we want to create a backup dancer's idea. How many do we want them to be? If you want them to be 20, you put 20. Let's say 20. I want to see how big this is going to be. And then um, I, want it, I want them to be behind, okay? I want them to be behind the sprite. So now you could pick another one. You could pick a dog, any one of your toys. So now let's run and see. Let's see what happens. So enlarge it can actually make it bigger like this. So let's run it and see. Let's, see that. That's too much. let's reduce it. Sorry about that. Let's reduce it to six for now. And then let's run again and see. Yeah. Now if the phone is getting cooked up, it's getting cooked up, but we're not there yet. Um, we want to actually design our background, so we want our background to look a bit like a party environment. So, how do we do that? So, to design anything background, you go to world, world, and then you say what well, set background. See, that's something you can use. So, you drag that inside the setup also, and then you select the background. Do you want it black or white, or do you want a picture? See, we have a lot of them right there. We have fireworks. We could just, you know what, if I were you, I'll, I'm just going to explore most of these things. Now let's try waves, and then let's try black and white. So let's run it. Up. Let's pick something, something else. So I could just pick none, and then, but I will select what, tropical. Now I could pick flowers. Let's run that and see. Now we're about to start. We've set up our environment. We've created our dancers. We've done all of that. I want to stop right there so that in the next video, I'll show you how to, you know, make moves, make moves, like make a lot of good moves. And then we are going to enjoy that fun. Don't worry, trust me. Um, in the next video, we're going to do that. But before then, please remember to like this video. Tell me what you loved about this video. Um, tell your friend about this lovely video, lovely channel. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Now, stay blessed and keep flourishing. Bye.